Hello everyone, Ian Brooks at the Armory Track and Field Centre in New York, just a few days away from the Milrose Games and I'm joined by a very special guest, Jen Shaw, number one ranked pole vaulter in the world and the Olympic silver medalist in 2008 in Beijing. Jen, welcome back to the Armory. Yes, thank you. A familiar place for you. Yes, yeah, so I've practiced here a long, long time ago. I did a competition when I was still in college, like at the end of my college days and you know, so I, was, I think I was jumping 13 feet then. <laughs> yep. You don't even do that in warm-ups. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. It's crazy to think about that. Well, how hard do you start at in competition now? You know, I have been starting at 452, 1410 right mm -hmm. now, but I think it's time to push myself a little more and open up a little higher so I can have jumps at higher bars instead of having them at lower heights. That's important, isn't it, to save your, the amount mm -hmm. of jumps, the number of jumps you have? Exactly. When I, you know, I need to start opening up higher and get it out of my fits. comfort. Yeah, get out of my comfort zone. Maybe 65 around there to open up and get out of that comfort zone, so then I can have, you know, good springs and energy at the higher heights. But isn't there always a risk there that when you do that, as we've seen in the past with some people? Um, then there's the ability to know height and then, oh, well, it's all yes. over. You know, a pole vault's always a risk and sometimes you pick a height and it doesn't matter if the bar was at 14 feet, you'd still miss it no matter what you did. Yeah. So, you know, it is a risk, um, but 52 is pretty a uh, height that is comfortable mm -hmm. where, I mean, if I'm going to make a height, it's going to be that one. If I'm going to miss it, it doesn't matter what height the bar's at. So you came away from the US Open just thinking, oh, well, it's the first competition of the year, no big deal. Yes, you know, I was pretty disappointed, obviously, after the U.S. Open, and you know I have a record of not jumping so well there. But you know we actually got out of there that night, drove back, and analyzed, and you know we looked at the video. And my coach and husband said, "You're not jumping bad. You know you're jumping good." I just took a note. How can I not be jumping bad? He's like, "No, you know things are on. It just didn't time out that night." So what do you think, looking at the video? Because well, one is a video, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> They say slow-mo was the best coach. <laughs> yeah. What did you see that you sort of felt? The poles were too light. I was jumping on poles that just weren't supporting me and I was, they just weren't reacting. And you know, so I knew I had to push the envelope a little and jump on a bigger pole. But it's hard in your first meet to pull out yes. a pole that you usually are on with tailwind, you yeah. know, outdoors. So, right. yeah. So then moving to last weekend in Boston, and, um, and you were American record, lo and yes. behold, what difference does weight per day make? Uh, exactly. You know, I, people ask me, like, that's the pole vault. No height one week, an American record the next. It's just such a finicky event, and when you're on, you're on, and when you're off, you're off. So that's all I can say about it. But, you know, Boston was a great place when the crowd was into it, and, you know, it was definitely inspiring to jump out there. And you like competing though, I have a sense. You know, yeah, I, you know, I don't know what it is. Um, not a lot of people like competing there. Uh, they don't like the runway or the mm -hmm. box, but I think it's just the tradition of, you know, my first U.S. title came when I was there. And, you know, it's got to be something magical with the crowd, exactly. And you took one high, one jump at the, the world mm -hmm. record? Yes. One vault, I should yep. say. One vault I took, and then, you know, I was just... I felt a little tightness in my calf and decided it's too early for that, so just put the ball away and save it for another day. It's always a smart thing yes. to do. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So looking ahead to, to the Milrose Games here at the Armoury, um, what are your thoughts? No, I'm excited. I'm excited to see, you know, the liveness of it and, you know, the new It will venue. be hectic. Yes. As, as you can see from over there, there'll be people on have. top of you always. Yes. Yeah, I'm excited for it though. I'm looking forward to it and, you know, it's a great atmosphere here and warm. The track is nice. Oh, it's warm in here. Yeah. Yes. I love it. <laughs> yes. Coming like from where I come from in yes. Japan, this is amazing. <laughs> and so what height do you start at then? You know, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that is always, sometimes I think I should flip a coin. I always yeah. battle. You know, we always look at each other and my coach and I and we're sitting there and we're like, higher, no, this height higher. So. I, I probably should push the envelope and start a little higher if I want to go for higher heights, but I always like to start a little lower just for a little bit of comfort. So i got to start pushing myself though. <laughs> so is it difficult uh, having a coach who's also your husband, you know, emotionally? You know, if you think it would be hard, but it's the best thing that's happened. Wow. The best thing that's happened to me. Um, you know, being married, it puts everything in its place and you realize just how actually unimportant pole vault is you know, in the whole aspect of life. So, you know, we definitely, whereas pole vault might have taken over, you yeah. know, 
in the you past. You have balance in your life. Exactly. Yeah. Now it's balance and, you know, everything is centered. But when Rick comes to talk to you uh, yes. between vaults and he's trying to point something out to you, I mean, as a coach and a husband, it, it's, there, there is some difference there, yes. isn't there? Yes, he is strictly is a coach. Is he nurturing or is he sort of uh, in your face? Yeah, he is strictly a coach when we're competing and training is strictly yes. coach. And we have a rule 15 minutes afterwards. You can vent, you can talk, and then after that it's done. You can't go on with it. I, I, we break the rule quite a bit, I have to be honest, but <laughs> it's, we try to keep it. But we've learned that you know you have to just leave it in the back, especially because our training facility is right at our house. Yes. So we have to learn how to leave it back there, and then you built it at your own house. Yeah, it's probably like a uh, hundred meters in the backyard. Wow. Yes. Wow, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you have other vaulters come and work out with you there? Or? You know, once in a while we'll have people come in, you know, if they want to. It's always open. We always have an open policy when mm -hmm. I come in and jump. But, um, yeah, not too many people come by anymore. You know, Rick used to train high school yeah. kids all the time, but it's just too hectic down and traffic too much. Yes. But we always have an open door policy where people usually come up and stay the night in that in the train. Olympic here. Mm -hmm. You have a silver medal in your back pocket. Surely you'd like to make it gold this mm -hmm. year. And coming in now as the number one ranked pole boy in the world track and field news, does that sort of, um, how do you disassociate yourself from A, being the number one in the world so that you've got complete focus, and how do you say to yourself, I have this silver medal and I want gold, and how do you keep yourself focused without getting too sort of mm -hmm. nerve wracked about that? Because it's the build up, it's so long, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot of, you know, the anxiety and, you know, for everyone else around it, like not, for Rick and I, it's very much an anxiety and it's anxious and it's, you know, pressure. Mm -hmm. Everyone around it, it's exciting, it's looking forward to it, we can't wait. And so it's two different things. So people like my, you know, my parents are a good example. They, they want to talk about the Olympics all the time. And I'm like, <laughs> let's talk about the dog, the cat, yeah. you know. So it's funny that, in, you know, in 08, it was hard for me. Mm -hmm. I had to stay away. I'd stay in the house. I couldn't hear it. I, I couldn't breathe when we talked about it because it was just that much anxiety. And this year, I learned how to talk about it on a very surface level. You know, just without any feeling, emotion. It's there. It'll come. And it's why Russia. You know. <laughs> so, I think that's a very smart thing to do. So, um, how do you relax? I mean, uh, do you have music? Favorite pieces of music you listen to? Do you, are you a movie fan? Are you, do you read? I mean, how do you sort of get away from all? Early, early. I'm a huge animal fan, animal oh. lover. I have a dog and a cat, and yes. you know we live in kind of in the woods, a little desolate. So I have a wild game camera out that takes pictures of. Really? You know, yeah, it's censored and motion censored at night and infrared, so it'll take pictures of animals that come through. Very calming, then. Yes, it is. You know, and I I'll just go back and walk, and you know take the dog Tundra and Rick and I will just go to the, the stream or something and he'll run around and play and that's all the relaxation. It's just fun to watch. That sounds like an <laughs> excellent um, way to conduct your life. Yes, yeah, we're very much outdoors. We, we build, like last time we were home between Boston and New York, it was so nice. This winter has been so mild here. I can't speak too soon. I know. <laughs> the I know. snow coming this weekend, yes. I'm told. <laughs> I don't know. But it was so mild, we actually went to the back and just, we have a campfire out there and had a campfire and just relaxed at night and, you know, that's what we like to do. We like to be outdoors. Well, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my chat with Jen Saw um, comes to an end and we'll be looking at Jen uh, as well as a packed armory crowd on Saturday. Thanks very much, Jen. Yes, thank you very much.